Hello? I guess you guys are forcing me to do an apartment tour, even though I'm not ready. But come on, let's do it. Let's just do it. Hurry up. Do not waste my time. Welcome to my studio apartment. I live in Brooklyn, Bushwick to be exact, and I have a little studio space on like the ground floor of an apartment building. So yeah. First and foremost, my apartment is not done yet, but it's like, I don't think it will ever be done and I will never be satisfied because I'm like always changing up my space and adding new things. So I figured I would do this video anyways because it's mostly done and I kind of want your opinions on the ideas that I have. Honestly, this part right here of my apartment is the most unfinished. It's literally just storage. Like, literally just storage. I'm planning to put a couch here and this painting is only hung up because I used it to cover the breakers. Oh, easy fix, easy fix. I used it to cover the breakers. <laughs> But let's go to my desk area, okay? This is where a lot of magic happens. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff on this desk. It's just a big table. <laughs> and wow, what a perfect little segue because look at this little box on this big table. Are we wondering what this box is? I'm gonna tell you right now. This is a little package from Ana Luisa. <laughs> Obviously, I'm doing a studio apartment tour in Bushwick. I need to keep the lights on somehow, right? Right. That's why Ana Luisa is here because they are the sponsor of this video. I am actually an Ana Luisa ambassador, so I'm very excited to show you guys some new pieces from them. Both of the earrings that I'm wearing are new from them. They are so cute. Oh my god. They are these little bamboo hoops and then also these heart bamboo hoops. Like the heart ones have my heart. And then I also have another pair in here. Look at these. I feel like this shape is so classic and just like so essential and elegant. Just classy, you know? Also, all of the jewelry on my body right now is from Ana Luisa, including my chains, my bracelet, even my nose piercing. It's a hoop earring, but shh, it's our little secret. <laughs> if you guys are unfamiliar with Ana Luisa, they make the cutest jewelry that's super high quality. It's gold plated. They make it sustainably and it's also still affordable. Like how? I don't know. But literally that checks all the boxes for me because I care about all of those things so much. They are carbon and water neutral and they have a huge emphasis on their products being made ethically and they also really have an emphasis on giving back to the community. They are based in Brooklyn just like me so I feel like that's like a little piece of my heart. Also they use recycled materials when they can and they are working very hard on creating a circular business model which I think is really important. Like we kind of really have to save our planet right now <laughs> but yeah pieces start at $39 so I feel like there's something for everybody and I even have a discount code for you guys you can use Emily L 10 for 10% off and I will leave my link down below so that you guys can check out Anna Louise's website and yeah I just love their pieces because literally you can throw on like so many Anna Louisa pieces and they just all go so well together it's like simple yet bold even like I just love these chains like I just feel so cool but yeah thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Let us get back into the apartment tour. Oh my god, look at Noki. I love him. But okay, this is my desk. This is where all of my work happens. The table is literally from Ikea. Like most of my furniture is from Ikea, I'm not gonna lie. This organizer is from Michaels. It literally just has like art supplies, paint, stickers. Like I'm an artsy bitch, I'm a DIY gal. This chair, oh my God, this chair. Can we talk about this chair? <laughs> This is a gaming chair and I am so annoyed at what I'm about to say because I have not shopped from this website for probably like three, four years, but I got the chair from Amazon. Not thrilled to admit it, but I got the fucking chair from Amazon. It has a massager in it. It has a cushion. I just thought it was time for me to upgrade to a comfortable chair because my back literally always hurts. I was editing on a little wooden chair for like two years straight. That's not normal. That's not okay. Look, this chair even has this. You guys cannot even see. It has this, so like you can sit crisscross applesauce. 
This is my greatest purchase ever. I have my little karaoke mic because I just need it available, like easy access. Oh, I have a hookah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I have a MIDI keyboard, microphone, I like to make music in my free time, but that's probably one of my biggest hobbies, writing songs. These notebooks right here are literally my entire life. If somebody was to take these notebooks from me, one, they would learn way too much about me, and two, my life would be literally in shambles because this is my weekly planner, which I do daily to-do lists, and like literally I plan my entire life in this. I just like to be organized, okay? I thrive off of organization. This notebook with the top, this is my entire life. Nobody's allowed in here. And then this is my journal. This is the one where if people read it, they would think I'm unwell. But um, yeah, let's go over here actually. Here is kind of like my little decorative area. I actually like decorated here, so I'm proud of it. I like that when I'm on the computer doing meetings or like whenever I'm using my webcam or something, you can see this background. And I think it's pretty. <laughs> Death Note poster, my favorite anime. All of my posters are from Five Below. They have the best posters, okay? My YouTube plaque from my old channel is here. This is a whiteboard. As I said, I thrive off of organization, so I literally write everything that I have to do. Literally, apartment tour is on this list. <laughs> and then I have like some pictures of myself because I'm obsessed with myself, you know? I have pictures of like me, my dad, my mom, my family. I have crystals. I have crystals everywhere, actually. All of my my crystals are placed intentionally. This selenite is here for a reason, you know? This orange calcite is on this table specifically for a reason. Am I gonna explain all my reasonings? No, but I am really into crystals. <laughs> Here actually is a staircase that leads up to the apartment upstairs But the construction people just came today to do an evaluation And it's gonna get closed up and this is gonna become storage for me And upstairs is gonna get a closet So we're all fucking happy For now, this is where I keep all my Depop stuff I haven't done a Depop drop in a, in a little bit because I've been really busy with life But I promise you, half of these boxes are not even listed on Depop I need to do a giant drop very soon But yeah, shipping supplies are there, not that exciting Exciting. Let's go into my closet because I feel like my closet is like the best part of my whole studio This is my closet Obviously like it's a studio space. So this is all one room. It's all like a long room and that's it. <laughs> so I kind of made do with what I could. This closet system here is a custom made closet from Ikea. I love it so much. For some reason, having my clothes like hung up and open to my eyes makes me so happy. I feel like I live in a store and that's probably like one of the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> this clothing rack is from Target and I kind of just have like my latest pieces on here. So like things that I want to wear, things that are in season, things that are new. I also have all of my shoes here. Honestly, my shoes are probably my favorite thing to look at. I literally just like looking at my clothes. Sometimes I just stand here and I'm just like, wow, beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> then on this side, I have another closet. This is a big one. Another poster, Hatsune Miku. And I also have nunchucks. I'm really scared to break my camera or hit myself in the face, so I'm not gonna swing them. These are real nunchucks, and I felt like maybe I should have a weapon here, so I just keep them here. Yeah. <laughs> this closet, we don't have to look in it. And then I also have like a bunch of hats right here. Literally, I just stuck them on with push pins. But now let's go to the bed area because honestly, I think it might be one of my other favorite parts. I think this whole apartment is my favorite. I think this is the most happy I've been in a space because it truly feels like mine and like I can decorate it however I want and all the choices are made by me, myself, and I. So it feels great. Here is where all the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> this bed frame is from Ikea. A lot of people ask me about it because, I mean, it's just so cute. But I feel like I always pick out like very cute furniture. Over here we have like a little mirror situation where like I always take pictures. To be honest, I found these mirrors like literally when I moved in, they were outside in the trash. I took them obviously, duh. <laughs> so yeah, this is my bed. It's so funny because like this blanket I've had since my first apartment and if you guys have been here for a while You might even recognize it. I have my squishmallows here. I also have more over there I have Hello Kitty, Avocado. I have the pink cow which somebody sent me They sent me two of them this and then the smaller size and like I cannot believe I have the pink cow I'm so happy and I have this 
tapestry up for now, but I kind of want to paint this little section pink. I'm not sure or paint like pink cow print or pink camo or like just paint this something cute, you know, something. <laughs> but yeah, this is where I lay. <laughs> Next to my bed, I have my nightstand. This is from Ikea. It matches the other table over there. I just have my speaker. To be honest, this is such an eyesore. I don't know how to make this look cuter, but I use it every single day, so it's here. Remote, I have random bedside things. I have, you know, my bedside essentials in here. I also have this spray, which I love. It just like makes it smell so good. Oh, and I also have my projector right here on the floor. Okay, my bed is there. There's a blank wall here, which is amazing for work, but also for the projector. Duh. Let me turn it on. Ta-da! This is not the ideal placement for it. How do I make the projector better? <laughs> More efficient. I wanted to like put a shelf up and hang it up, but it looked so dumb. I bought the shelf and everything. It just looks so dumb above my bed. So I think on the floor is better, but whatever. This is Noki's bed, which he used to love in the old apartment. Then when we moved here, he literally has never sat on it. Like, what's the deal with that? But that's from Target. Oh, and I also have a sunset lamp. See? I really love different lights. Like, that's a big theme of my apartment. Like, different lights, colorful lights, good fucking vibes. <laughs> but, oh my god, I should show you guys my vanity! Here's my vanity, right next to my bed, right next to the bathroom. It kind of makes getting ready so easy. Like, the fact that everything is next to each other. It's so weird because I kind of prefer living in a smaller space now because I am only one person. My old apartment was way too much for me to clean. Like, nobody needs to clean two bathrooms. That was not fun. But yeah, my vanity is here. This is from Urban Outfitters. My grandma got it for me for some holiday. I forgot which. And then I put these lights on it. These lights are from Five Below. You can just turn them on and off. I love it because you can actually see what you're doing. I have like all my makeup organized. I have like, you know, some accessories here. I got my headbands. I got my sunglasses. And then up here is my toy. These clear shelves are from Five Below. I love them. I've always loved to collect things. So to have like a cute display for all my stuff is like very fun. And I want to get more pops and I want to get more figurines and blind boxes. Because I used to have so many in middle school. And then like, you know when you go to middle school and then like anime and like cute stuff and like kawaii stuff is like not cool anymore. So you like kind of throw it away and you're like, all right, I guess I can't like that anymore. That's what happened to me. I had so many mystery boxes and I donated them to Goodwill. I am now very big into healing my inner child so I am collecting the mystery box toys again. <laughs> Next is the bathroom. So let's check it out. Welcome to my bathroom. Very standard bathroom. <laughs> I did a few little cute DIYs in here though. Oh, I have a question. I want your advice on this. <laughs> I have this stick that I put all my scrunchies on. I mean, I kind of just throw them on the side now because the stick is kind of annoying to deal with. How do you guys hold your scrunchies? Like, what is a good way to hold scrunchies? Because that's not working for me. <laughs> yeah, I guess that brings us to this. This is just like an over the toilet organizer. I think I got it maybe from Wayfair a long time ago. I don't know. I've had this since my last apartment, so I've had it for a while. It's also like so wobbly. Do you see this? It's going to break one day. It's definitely going to break one day, but I'm just waiting. Then toilet, duh, sink. I actually painted these myself. They're like acrylic pores made by Emily Lee. And I also painted this um pink. <laughs> I didn't ask, but I did it. <laughs> And then over here, I have just this organizer. This, I think, is from TJ Maxx, and I also painted it pink. It has my hair tools, face stuff, body, and nails. And then my shower! Here's my shower! <laughs> <laughs> this shower curtain is by Quiet Town. It's made in Brooklyn sustainably and I got it for Christmas I think I put it on my Christmas list because like I really wanted this shower curtain, but it was really expensive So like I put it on my Christmas list <laughs> and someone got for me. Okay, this is my kitchen <laughs> Well, this is the boiler room. I mean I could show you guys it. There's nothing really in there. Noki, just don't go in Thank you Thank you 
you. Another poster. This one is Pokemon. I love posters. And then I love my fridge. Like, it has so many pictures on it of, like, me as a baby, my childhood, my family, my friends. Just, like, good memories, nostalgic vibes. Oh, actually, let me know what you guys think. I kind of want to put, like, a little table here. There's room, but it's a little tight. Here is a better view of it. So, like, there is this space here where, like, a little eating table can go. Why am I standing like that? Where like a little eating table could go like maybe like a tall table with bar stools or like some kind of like to the wall table like very small because I don't really have a place to eat I don't even have a couch yet so like I kind of just eat on my desk or my vanity what do you guys think where can I get a small table what kind of small table can fit here I just don't want it to be cluttered let's just go into the kitchen <laughs> okay so here is the kitchen I actually really love the kitchen I think that it's such a cute space that I put together I have this organizer here just like for extra storage there is not a lot of cabinets here like there is but there's not if that makes sense <laughs> i also wanted more counter space there's no counter here to cook so i brought this in this is from ikea but i've had it since literally i lived at my mom's house so i've had this since like the beginning of high school probably i kind of want to get one of those wooden countertops for here like the professional chefs use <laughs> I'm like really proud of this wall right here because I put this up by myself I did everything in this apartment by myself. I hung up every single shelf. I built every single piece of furniture This was all me. This was all Emily and to be honest I just want to say I am the baddest bitch for that. <laughs> I have my two little DIYs. It's like stills from Death Note again I said Death Note's my favorite anime. We have Misa Misa and we have Elle and then like again Like I said, I needed more storage especially for pots and pans like I literally had no storage so I did this which I used to have jewelry on here like in my old old apartment I used the same exact board for jewelry but now I use it for pots and pans and like just little essentials and I think it's so cute yeah I just have like a blender I have my healthy foods I may be unhealthy in lots of aspects but I be eating nuts and grains so at least I'm good on that front <laughs> then over here is where you know the kitchen stuff is not too crazy Stove. I don't have a microwave. <laughs> So I just put my seasonings in the spot that the microwave would would have been the apartment just didn't come with it I could buy one, but I don't know I've been living without a microwave for like a couple months now and maybe I don't need a microwave I have an air fryer though. I feel like if you have an air fryer toaster oven oven thing Maybe you don't need a microwave Hot take. I have a lot of plants everywhere. This is the only window really in my whole apartment So the plants kind of like have to go here. My pothos is kind of thriving though, which is amazing And then you might be wondering Emily. What is this store? Well It's the backyard Hello guys, ta-da! I feel really weird filming because people might see me But yeah, I have a backyard I'm the only one with access to it So it's very nice I can film back here I can chill back here I can party back here <laughs> It's not that cute yet I'm gonna make it cute by my birthday It's really nice to have a backyard And like, I'm the only one who comes out here So it's mine That's honestly worth the small apartment <laughs> But yeah, that is everything. That is everything I have for you guys today. I love this apartment so much. It's small, but it is mighty like me <laughs> but i'm just like so happy with the space and i know i'm gonna add so much to it i will eventually do like an updated version of this and show you guys like all the cool stuff that i do because i just have like so many plans it's just like not done yet it's hard getting your place to be exactly how you want is kind of hard but i think i'm like at a good spot right now it feels like home here i'm so happy me and noki are like so happy and it's just a good vibe it feels so good to be in a new space and to like have a place that feels peaceful like i feel peaceful here and it feels like i have no bad vibes like this is just like me this is my space i'm like very protective of it too i don't really like to have people come over or like people stay over if i don't know them too well or if like they have bad vibes i don't know i really want to keep the energy good in here <laughs> but yeah that is my whole apartment tour i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that i met your expectations i don't even have a couch yet i'm embarrassed <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and once again thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this because um your girl gotta pay rent <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to check them out, the link will be down below. And once again, I have a 10% off discount code for you guys. So yeah, if you want to twin with me, get some cute jewelry, it will be down there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm tired. I'm hot. I need to put the fan on. It hasn't been on because it's too loud for the video. I need to go. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Always. Oh my god.